History was made today. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office spent almost two years cracking down on drugs. 50 people were arrested in multiple Panhandle counties. News 13's Bailey Nichols is live in our studios tonight. Bailey, what kind of drugs were seized? Well, Amy, Sheriff Donnie Edenfield says they confiscated everything from marijuana to fentanyl. They say it's just one step to getting those deadly drugs off the street. Operation Agua Azul is the title of the long-term investigation that began over 20 months ago. A drug trafficking organization that distributed narcotics all across the Panhandle and parts of Alabama have been busted. The commitment to the communities that we serve that will continue to fight this is just as hard and as a team effort as we possibly can. We'll never give up on the fight um, to, to combat it and, and eradicate as much um, of the, the narcotics as we can. Authorities from neighboring counties joined the fight in taking down this large organization. Sheriff Eden Field from Jackson County says he needed all the manpower he could get. Our resources are limited sometimes, uh, your financial resources and your manpower. So a, an operation on this magnitude uh, would be poss in, in, virtually impossible uh, without getting the help from your neighboring sheriffs and from your federal partners. Investigators have seized 41 kilograms of methamphetamine, over 6 kilograms of cocaine, over 2 kilograms of fentanyl, 75 firearms, and $28,000 in cash. Just a year ago, uh, when, when we talk about fentanyl, uh, last July, uh, we had over 12 deaths in Gazin County due to fentanyl. Uh, uh, our our uh, attorney general actually uh, sent a letter to the president of the United States uh, 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 saying that fentanyl was a drug of mass destruction. The amount of fentanyl that was confiscated has the potential to kill 1.3 million people or 6% of the population of Florida. If you suspect this kind of activity is going on in your communities, please by all means reach out to your local sheriffs. Sheriff Edenfield says if you know anyone struggling with addiction, you should ask for help from the local sheriff's office. Now, Bailey, do they expect any more arrests in this case? Well, the sheriff says they will continue to make sure drugs are taken off the streets and those involved are brought to justice. Also, if you have a tip about any crime at all, you can contact your local sheriff's office. All right, Bailey Nichols reporting live in our studios tonight. Thank you.